I realized that in my last vlog I didn't talk much about how my discipline of waking up as soon as I'm really wakes up was going let's just say the last week was a bit abnormal because we were away and some days I did okay because I really had to and some other days when I didn't have to I went back to sleep which is a bit annoying if you have no idea what I'm talking about because you didn't watch last week's vlog I'm starting this discipline what did Rebecca suggest discipline is this where in every weekly vlog I work on a discipline point something I want to get better in my life because discipline is not really one of my strengths and last week's one was to get out of bed as soon as Amelie wakes up which is generally not what I do I just go back to bed with her give her milk and then go back to sleep which is not very helpful and it's gonna be the same one for this week because uh, last as I said last week no 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 and I'm still trying to figure out how the format is gonna work if it's at the end of the vlog that I'm going to tell you how it went during the week or if every day I do it probably at the end of the vlog makes more sense but things are not gonna be easy this week because I my sinuses are just it's unbelievable Sydney hey this dry weather is the worst it's just so annoying but hopefully hopefully everything will work out and I have other things I want to achieve as well for the following weeks so hopefully by the end of the year I'll be very disciplined in every aspect of my life it's Amelie's birthday party at our house and I just spend the whole morning finishing the cake that I started last night. I was gonna vlog last night. Funny story. I needed to make the cake, so I baked the sponge cake and finished editing a video for Dan. I put the cake in the oven and then I sat down and then an hour later I woke up thinking, oh my gosh, I burned the cake. The cake overcooked for like 15 minutes. It's all good though. It's good. Look, look at the cake. Look at the cake. It's the best cake. Look, look at it. Oh, it's a bit dark. Oh. Oh, what about now? Can you see the cake? Look at this cake. It's not even ready yet. Now I need to decorate the surroundings of the cake, but also people are already arriving and there's the other things are not ready, so... There's a lot of work to do. And... I don't know why I do this. <laughs> it's because it's Amelie, otherwise... Because you love your family. Look, look at the, the... Yeah, I love my family. Look at the... There's icing everywhere and stuff and stuff. Ollie. Hi! Oh, hey, Amelie, whose birthday is it? My birthday! How old are you? Three! Three? Three. How many fingers is that? What do we do with the candles? I ate them. Underneath. Is that the table? I three! Oh, good girl. Are you? Show, show the camera. Show the camera. I three! There you are, baby girl. Check out this cake. I three! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy Let's do the cake, everyone! Right, she's she's sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah, cake I hope she's still sleeping. Maybe she's sleeping. Mom, All right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amelie. Bend down, bend down. Bend down. Oh, there you go. Yay! Yay! Now we need to cut the cake. <laughs> now it's time for Amelie's speech. <laughs> Amelie, oh, say your speech. What, what are you going to say to everybody? Thank you. Oh, why are you so cute? Can you have the smiley face? You can have the smiley <laughs> face? Who wants to have the smiley face? What? What do we cut the cake with? <laughs> What is this for? That's a surf arm. Surf arm. <laughs> <laughs> I hold the knife. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we, how are we going to cut this? Go down the, the middle. Cut the okay. face like in, this, half. Right. in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Oh, yeah. Is it, oh, it's dirty. Amelie, you have to give daddy a kiss. <clears throat> oh, oh, no hesitation. <laughs> Kiss his face, babe. Oh. <laughs> okay, yes. okay. Right. can I finish filming now? You've done a brilliant job. Do you want to just like stand there as a cute family? No, you I'll don't hold the knife anymore. You already held the knife. And we'll take a, a freeze frame. Emily, look at me, babe. Look at me, babe. Emily, look. 
<laughs> okay, you can take that. Right, I haven't eaten my cake yet. I ate the individual parts of it, but I need to try it. I'm talking to my audience, not to myself. Excuse me. So it's a uh, sponge cake with a filling of strawberries and whipped cream. And the icing is buttermilk icing, which is really... Mm. Oh. Yeah. The strawberries make it even better. Mm. Do you like the cake? What is did you eat it? You want my honest opinion? Yes. Okay. So, so you don't like the. I was eating the cake, and I'm not like the biggest cake fan, so I opted for the big piece. Because I was like, Carlos made it, it's going to be amazing. Why don't you get a big piece if you don't like it? Well, no, I didn't know I wasn't going to like it. It's not oh. that I didn't like it. I just, so I ate all the icing on the top, ate all the green stuff, ate the whole entire first layer with the strawberries and the cream, even though I don't like whipped cream. And then as I tried to cut through the bottom slab with my um, fork yeah. utensil situation, yeah. I couldn't cut through the bottom slab. And so it was, I a bit, it was a little bit chewy, and yes, it's because it was a little overcooked and a little burnt. I fell asleep last night because you while the thing was in the oven. So I already knew the story because you'd already told me. However, it's pretty good. But no, it was a good cake. Yes, it's, the flavour was good. It's excellent. It was just the whole the whole bottom situation was a little chewy. But it was good cake. Why are you kneeling on the floor? Because I needed to. I don't want to stand. Well, now this somewhere. is awkward. Because now I'm trying to. Stand. <laughs> Why are you sitting on the floor? I'm not sitting on the floor! It there's looks like, like you are. There's like a little stool thing here. Yeah. But now... Now it's really awkward. It's so good. So like that's the kind of situation that people need to see right there. So, so this is okay. So this is what I did. I had a slice that was about that big. And I ate all of the icing stuff on the top. Usually I don't like icing. Had the sponge, had the cream and the strawberries in here. And then it was just this bottom layer here when I tried to chop through. It was just the chopping situation with a fork. It's lunchtime. I just had a haircut because VidCon is this weekend and I need to make sure my hair looks the best it can look. Tomorrow I'm redoing the color. I would do it myself, but I want it to look good, so I'm gonna get it done properly again. I'm not gonna re-bleach the hair, I'm just gonna reapply color so it's vibrant and how it's supposed to look. But anyway, it's 1.30, I'm hungry, I'm gonna get some takeaway and then go back to work. I actually should've given you... Go away! <laughs> That's all you do now. Play Fortnite. Boring. I'm gonna come down soon. Are you winning though? Uh, 18 people left. I got three kills. You got a what? I got, I got three kills. Oh, okay. Look at that southeast, boy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Wait, in front, in front, in front. This is, this is the man that gives me a lot of work to do. You see, you see this hard drive over there? That's a lot of footage for me to edit. We, we are looking for a new editor, doesn't pay anything, gives incredible exposure. It just adds stuff to your portfolio. Just yeah, yeah. If you're looking for exposure, if you're looking for you know, extra stuff to add to your portfolio. We cannot stress the pay is zero. Yeah, no, no pay. But what are you going to gain from the exposure and working with incredible people is just next level. Please. <laughs> I just want one more season, Carlos. This and this season. And you have to do better than me, which is really hard. So. You just gotta do one more season, and this season's a forty-five episode season. Done. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? My life? Welcome to another episode of Toilet Talk. <laughs> well, not really, but I figured since this vlog is probably gonna be somewhat short. I'll end with me playing some music to Jesus and you can listen to it. But before I go, I need to talk about the discipline thing. I think this week I did a bit better. This morning I did sleep in a little bit, but it's getting there. My last two weeks haven't been very normal, so it's hard to, yeah. And if I go to bed late, it just gets hard, but it's getting there. So. Next vlog, next vlog is gonna be a VidCon vlog. Probably gonna do daily or something like that during VidCon or, I don't know yet, but I'll definitely vlog VidCon. 
which means that that will override my weekly vlog. I don't know what I'm going to do about Monday and Tuesday when there's no VidCon. Probably not going to vlog at all. But then in the next weekly vlog, I'm going to think about something I want to work on. A different item in the discipline list. Since I'm doing really well with the waking up early. <laughs> one thing at a time, one small thing at a time. Many steps, eventually you get there, right? So I'm going to sing the song that I was listening to today. And it's just, it's just in my mind. And I love it. It's a great song. But anyway, that's where I leave you. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. And now I have to look at the chords. By the way, I'm doing this in the bathroom because the reverb will artificially make me sound better, so... <laughs> Thank you.